Hello, and welcome to this Data Studio tutorial. In this video, we're going to add some VDB effects as well as VDB emissions. So the first thing we're going to do in this video today is we're going to add VDB sky clouds onto the scene because it doesn't really work with the blue sky. It's not quite fitting the tone of what we're looking for. So for that, we're going to go to our props section and kindred arts. And under there, we're going to find VDB sky. So we're going to add our VDB cloud grid. There we are. So now we have some clouds in our scene, just that easy. But what we're going to do is we're going to play with it a little bit. So in our scene tab, we're going to grab our clouds over here and then go back to our product. And we have three things we can do. We can do cloud brightness, cloud styles, and sky height. So let's start with the cloud brightness. I think for what we're looking for, we probably want to have not too dark because it's already a fairly dark scene. Let's go with uh, gray clouds. And then cloud style, we don't want it to be too jammed up. We want to be able to see some sky. Right now our planes are getting lost a bit. So I think that might be too empty in pattern B, but let's try pattern E and see how that looks. Yeah, that's a bit better. I like how that's looking. So let's now play with the sky height. Uh, for this kind of stuff, I, I always like to do the extremes. I'll do the, the smallest and then I'll do the largest. I'll give you an idea of what your range is. Uh, and then you can pick somewhere that you're happy with in between. So let's try 1200. See what that looks like. That should, should drop the clouds right down to the bottom. That's not too bad looking, but we're still missing our planes there a bit and it's not quite doing what I want. Let's see what 8000 looks like. That should shoot it right, right up there. Uh, let's try 4,000, see how that looks. Not quite. Let's try 2,200. There we go. I like that. I think that works well with the planes. Uh, you're getting it off into your distance. There's still some blue sky, but it's definitely a, a moodier scene. That's great. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to take this out of uh, NVIDIA iRay and go back to Texture Shaded uh, so we're not bogging down our CPU and our GPU by having all that uh, ivory draw style going on. We'll unselect the clouds, and what we'll do is we want to go to this um, Kinetic Arts gizmo. This is uh, from the Kinetic Arts Ground Effects product. And so we're going to open this, and I want these smoke plumes. So if I go into our perspective view, that's from when I was setting up the explosions out of the tank there now. But you see all this purple here. This has to do with... Uh, the high pressure uh, kinetic ground fix asset right here. So the one that I want to deal with, so you have the smoke filler, the fuel emitter, uh, the smoke plume, and then you have the air ring, the ground light, smoke volume, uh, and exploder emitter. So I think for my purposes, the smoke plume, this is the part that's going shooting up up the center and giving you that mushroom cloud at the top. I want to add emissions to that one. So let's go back to our main shot camera. We've selected the smoke plume. Now we can go to our surfaces tab. And once we're in here, we can go down to the uh, emission enable. I'll turn that on. Uh, so to get this to work, we're going to have to uh, crank up the emission temperature and bolt. So let's change that to 20,000. And I want to make sure that it's going to be the same um, hue as everything else. I want to really make sure that's coming out orange. So let's open up the emission tint. We'll select orange, hit OK. And let's go back to our iRay draw setting on our viewport. And let's see how that EDB emission looks in this case. All right, one quick time lapse later, and we can see that our smoke plume now has some emissions coming off of it. So this is a, an older ground effects product that uh, we're still able to use our VDB emissions on. So it's pretty awesome. That's a nice update for Destiny with 4.22. All right. So with those things done, I think uh, we can wrap this tutorial video here. I hope you were able to learn something new here and uh, you're able to make use of it in your future Destiny's. Enjoy creating it.